Yo, what's up guys? It's Waza. I'm down here at Ultra Football with the Sport League crew. We're covering tonight's launch of FIFA 20. It is going to be a huge one, so stay tuned. So guys, we've just stepped onto the pitch. The Volta gameplay that you would usually experience in-game is about to be experienced here in the home of Ultra Football on the pitch. Most guys come in here, try out the boots. These guys are going to try out the 5v5 gameplay. So game two is well underway right now and Adolf just scored an absolute bomb for the Lynx crew. They are up against our homies Lucas Football. So hopefully after the game, we'll check in with Lucas. So Lucas, you just went down 3-2, yeah, a bit of a hard one to swallow. How'd you find the game? Oh, it was a good game, man. The boys been playing together, as you know, they won the previous Neymar competition. So it's a really good side. And Adon, Adolf was like a bomb on the second yeah, goal, man. I didn't see the color of the ball. It was a good game, man. So we're just taking a quick break from the games over there at Volta Arena. Here, customization station. You're customizing your kits freshly with the designs from FIFA 20. So guys, just behind me, we've got the PS4 set up with FIFA 20 plugged in, giving everyone the chance to feel out the brand new FIFA 20 gameplay. So guys, giving FIFA 20 a try, what do you think of it so far? Well, I've just got a beautiful goal there, so yeah, no, I'm loving it so far, I'm really enjoying it. 2-1, bringing it back. Uh, yeah, bringing it back slowly, getting there. Tottenham, the team of choice. But yeah, big Spurs fan myself, so I uh, have to support them, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Ultra Football. We have the one and only Daniel Jordzewski. How are you? Oh, mate, what an accent. Oh, bro, he's, he's done me already. <laughs> if you don't know, this guy, the best interviewer in the whole of the A-League right here, pumped down a Borat accent the other day, way better than mine, I reckon. But how's your time been so far at West Sydney Wanderers? I have an absolute blast, you know. I'm just keeping those accents to a, to a T. But, um, yeah, enjoying myself. Yeah, for sure. As a fan of the Wanderers, it's so cool to see the char the charisma and stuff like that in the change room, and, and especially the media lately. It's been unreal. How how is it out the field? Like, oh man, it just it just goes straight into the field from the change room. So I think we just keep it a bit more in house because you know people might think we're just having too much fun, yeah, yeah. but at the same time, you know that positivity goes on the field, and hopefully you guys will see it this year. Yeah, hundred percent. Back the man. Check it out. Up the Wanderers. Hoo -hoo. So guys, we're down at the photo booth, freshly printed right here, FIFA 20 themed photographs. Not bad, not bad at all. So Tara, down here at Ultra Football, what's your thoughts on the night? Ah, uh, night, good. Thus far, pretty pumped about um, the big launch for FIFA 20, obviously, and it's good to see so many footballers out here having a good time. Yeah, definitely. And add in yourself, loving it. Yeah, Adam, great. He's here, he ate all the pizza. So we're down here with the man, the myth, the legend, Adam Peacock. What do you think of the quality so far? <laughs> I am a myth. <laughs> um, yeah, it's unreal. It's unreal, both in real life and the game. It's fantastic. Yeah, definitely. Um, on the couch, how comfy is it? Very, extremely comfy. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's extremely comfy. And I've got the Newcastle jersey just behind there. I've actually hidden it, and that's where it deserves to be. So we've got BYs in the house right now. What do you think of the kit customization, man? Man, it's good. I'm in line right now, trying to get my own little kit sorted, you know. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty interesting how they're doing that. Uh, it'd be dope if we could get our names on it, but in the meantime, I like the numbers, I like all the brands, so it's cool. Yeah. Hey, hey, Ultra can do names, so just bring it back, bro, and I'm sure they'll sort you out, man. Hell yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So we've just jumped on the pitch. We're down here with Jamie from Project 33. Sadly losing in the semi-finals, mate, but how was the game? Oh, excellent. I was really proud of the boys. We're giving exposure to the football talent that the country needs. So I'm really proud of the way they played. So boys, it's finals time. Sydney Street crew, happy to make the finals? Oh, of course yeah. we are, man. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, He's confident? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Big game, but we got it. We got it. <laughs> we got it. West of Sydney, we're here. We're here. We're here, brother. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> So we're just in the FIFA 20 section right now. We've got A-League superstar Jamie O'Doherty and his brother. This is Jordan. From the A-League. But boys going against each other, which is the better side? That's what I want to know. Oh, well, obviously the Wanderers are the better side. Mate, see, I like this guy. Adelaide. I mean, Adelaide, we're Wanderers in the FFA Cup, you know what I mean? So we're still in back to back. Does Adelaide have a star above their badge? Damn! Damn! You are, from, you are from Adelaide, relax. So just here with the Futaroos boys. They just wrapped it up in the finals. How was the game, boys? <laughs> uh, bu bully, bully's the only one that froths, mate, I'm telling you. So guys, it's full time and time to wrap up down here at Ultra Football. Hopefully you've enjoyed the coverage between myself, Waza, and the Sportly crew. But I'll catch you guys sometime soon. Peace.